Hey everyone, what's up? This is Chaz, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. So the mod for today is the Red Sensors mod, and uh, this is a great mod for those of you guys who like to fool around with your redstone contraptions. Um, as you guys can tell, these different blocks put off different redstone signals when uh, different uh, little actions happen to them. So as you guys can see here, when I jumped around my little my little uh, player block here, you can see it puts off a little redstone signal, but I'll get into that in a sec. First, I just want to show you guys the crafting recipes for all of our different uh, redstone sensors here. So, pretty much the crafting recipe is universal. There are different materials for uh, different blocks, but the, the overall recipe is quite universal. So, we have our glowstone dust right here, which will give you guys a light sensor. We have a raw pork chop, which will give you guys the player sensor. And I have no idea how that <laughs> how that kind of works out. You put in a pork chop, and you get something that works out to be a, something for a player. We put in a water bucket, and you get a liquid sensor. And you put in a moss stone, and that will give you your mob sensor. So that's how you get your different blocks. Now let's go ahead and get into uh, how exactly they work. So right here we have our liquid sensor. And with each one of these blocks, they each have a GUI, which you guys can select kind of uh, what you want to happen. So right here we have our liquid sensor. It says both water or lava, so you guys can pick which one will... Uh, kind of get the redstone signal to signal off there. So if I just have lava selected right here and I punch my little uh, block right here, you can see the lava will flow right here, interacts with the dirt block, and that will set off our little our uh, liquid sensor here. Let me just go ahead and plug this up. So we have that, which is really cool, and then you guys can set it to uh, water as well, and uh, that will do pretty much the exact same thing, and you can also do both if you so wish, and uh, that will make it so both lava and water will uh, set off that redstone signal, which is cool. So that's that. Let's go ahead and move on to our light sensor here. This works with the sun that we have in our world. And essentially how it works is you guys can pick a different light level, um, whatever you really want, to be honest. And right down here we have our different type of signs. Now it might get a little complicated, just uh, bear with me for a sec here. So first right here we have our less than sign. So any light level that's less than 9 will set off the redstone signal. Then we have greater than, any light level greater than 9 will set off a redstone signal. So right now we have a light level that's greater than 9, so that's why we have our little little redstone signal here. We have equal to, so only when it's 9 will it set off a redstone signal and then we have everything but nine will set off a redstone signal which is a uh, pretty cool Alrighty, everyone so let's go ahead and move on to our uh, player sensor here as you guys could probably tell in the beginning of the video pretty much how it works is you guys can specify a specific radius as to which uh, will make it so your block will turn on when your character is in that uh, radius so right here I have three so if I'm within three blocks um, it will turn on that that sensor so I can set it really high and really low and uh, as you guys can tell if I move back here it will still stay on now this is really useful is to uh, where you guys can kind of have this inside your house and if you want to hook this up to a door so when you guys get within 50 blocks of your house um, your door will open which is very very convenient okay and last but not least we've got our uh, mob sensor here so pretty much how it works and I'm sure you guys can guess what it does if we have any mob that's within the block uh, limit that we specify it will turn on the redstone signal so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out one of my favorite mobs the mushroom and put that guy down here and we're going to specify the radius or the block limit to be 32 so any mob within 32 blocks of this sensor will have the redstone signal on so uh, right now our little mushroom or my chicken over here is within the, the little limit so that's going to be on but if i was to turn this all the way down like so to two there's no uh mob within two blocks of this of this sensor so nothing's gonna nothing's gonna turn on but uh yeah that pretty much does it for the mod very very useful for those of you redstoners out there who uh, like to like to do that redstone stuff inside your Minecraft? So yeah, but uh, that pretty much wraps up the mod. So like always, I'll have a link to this mod in the description. I would appreciate it if you guys took half a second to leave a rating. Other than that, this has been Chaz with the Red Sensors mod, and I will talk to you guys later.